Namaste, God's Goddesses and Emissaries of Light. This is Dr. Sharia Tayen. If you're new to my channel, please like, subscribe, and do not forget to hit the notification bell so you can be updated on my latest and my current videos. All right, so I just sprayed Kit Karma's eye spray. I have condensed it. Um, to Kit Karma's Aspray now. And that's what is also on the labels. It's simple. It's not a long phrase. I want to talk about the new moon in Libra and how it represents the god of uh, the goddess of Venus and how our relationships that no longer serve us, that are karmic relationships or that had a karmic cycle with them, have been forced to end. Yesterday, I broke the silence with my Divine Masculine and we spoke and it wasn't pretty, but it wasn't all bad neither. It was just some harsh truths that needed to come to the surface. And I can say that I've been seeing a lot of geese, doves, and bunny rabbits lately. And if you guys have been seeing any of those are just like me. I've been seeing all three. That means that union is about to be near. That means you're going to be coming into union with your twin. Um, I was driving down the street the day before yesterday and there was a um, goose, a male goose that was crossing the street in front of me. And I wasn't paying him any never mind, even though he was taking his sweet, slow time until he got where my truck was and he stopped and he stared at me like, what you going to do? I'm going to stop right here and you're going to wait on me. And I started blowing my horn at that little thing. I'm like, if you don't get your ass across that street. And he started like, you know, moving with his head down like he was ashamed of what he did. And I'm saying to myself, man, it's just so amazing how, you know, God's creation has personality because he was mad. <laughs> he was mad at me because I didn't wait on him. And so I always look at signs and synchronicities. It reminds me of my divine masculine because he was mad at me because I took 21 days to respond to him. And it wasn't the fact that I took 21 days to respond to him. It's just that I knew that there was some purging and some clearing that we both needed to do. And I was allowing him time to do so. I'm not in a hurry. Like I told you guys, we got eons and eons. We got eternity to be together. Whether we're together in this lifetime or not, I'm not in a rush. I know who in the hell he is. I'm just allowing him to wake up to the fact of him knowing who I am. And so that's why I took out the time to give him that opportunity so I can feel the magnetism of him coming my way. And I did. You know, at first I told him, well, you didn't even respond. You, I mean, you didn't even text me after those three times that you text me. And spirit was like, duh. He texted you three times back to back, one after the other in a row. You did not respond back to him. So he was thinking the same thing that you was thinking, that you didn't want to be bothered. You was thinking he didn't want to be bothered. So long story short, you guys, this dynamic is crazy <laughs> sometimes, but you just keep rolling with the punches. And it's just amazing how we mirror each other as we trigger each other and we bring things up to the surface that need to be dealt with. And this is what this reading is all about. This is what I'm going to get into. Let me go ahead and call in some help like I always do. I call in all six elements. I call in air, fire, water, earth, spirit, and ether. And I also call upon the highest of the highest of the highest which is Yadhe Vahe, to be able to give me the information that is necessary for this beautiful reading in all universes, parallel universes, all dimensions, all sub-dimensions, and past, present, future, in all directions, time and space. And so it is. All right. <clears throat> so some of you are dealing with a masculine who just really realized in his flowering because we also have a cartomancy card all right and 
then in this nine of spades, he is flowering. He is knowing now that this is a faded relationship. I believe for some of you, and this is a general reading, take, take what resonates, okay? I believe that some of your divine masculines looked at you guys as karmics, okay? They thought you were the ding dang on karmic, and they thought that the woman that they chose you over the third party was the divine feminine. So that's the reason why now the universe has woken, awakened them up to the realization of who you are in the first place, you see. I feel like for some of them, they were in relationships with people <clears throat> that gave them that it factor. They made them feel different. They, It's kind of like, if you really want me to get real with you, it's kind of like a junkie looking for that high, trying to chase that high again. And they know that they messed up with you because they left you out in the cold. And so therefore, in their ego, they feel or felt that this person that they ran to, they were the one. They were their cup. They were, they were their wish fulfillment, their dreams come true. And so therefore, since we've had so many eclipses and new moons and full moons and everything in this beginning of this year, they have been shaken awake. Now they know that they are divine masculine or divine feminine. They know who they are now. And in times past, they had the slightest, foggiest ideal. They didn't even know about a twin flame union or the dynamics. Now they are waking up to that because you have with the nine of spades that they are flowering. And this is fate. Fate has willed the best unto you. And it talks about happy times and it talks about the outlook and it means that they are now looking at happy days being fulfilled with you because they've had so many miserable days with the karmic, okay? Now, I am using labels for the fact of this is a reading and this is the terminology that you guys are used to. Although I do not like labels, Spirit told me to use it for this reading because it's very necessary. Now, before they had this awakening, they were resistant. Do you see that they had a closed fist, a clenched fist? There was nothing that they can get into their hands because they already were hell bent on the union that they were in. I feel like for some of you, they left you for a karmic and everything that you gave to this person, they took from you and they gave it to the other person. And that could be represented by time, it could be represented by money, and it could be represented by attention. They took the time they were supposed to be given to you and they invested the time, the money, the emotions. They gave the karmic, the whole kit and the caboodle, the caboodle, and they refused to give it to you because they were resistant and seeing how real this connection really was. They had no ideal. They had the foggiest ideal of how divine this connection was. They didn't even know anything about twin flames, let alone sacred union so in this regards they put up resistance now in their awakening they have accumulated for some of these divine masculines a lot of dough they were connected to the karmic because there was some money ties there were some money things that was being offered and that's the reason why it prolonged them to be away from you. Because once money got involved in the dynamic, it changed the whole game. This was no longer them seeking or pursuing love or romance. This turned into finance and romance, which was basically, you know, a double weapon and a double sword against the union, which drove more of a wedge between you and your divine masculine. You see, they wasn't looking at you as being the wish fulfillment because for some of you divine feminines, in this dynamics, you have been through hell and back. Some of you have been homeless. Some of you have didn't have any finances. You were st struggling through finances. And the divine masculine was not in his divinity at the time. He was just a karmic masculine. And he was looking at you like, in another light, he was looking down on you. He wasn't looking at you as being an empress. He was looking at you as being more of a peasant to him and being more of a distraction because 
for some of these divine masculines that I'm pulling with the energy from, they were more about money. They was more about their pinnacles. They were more about their coins, which is represented by this. This is the queen of pinnacles and is that they were more focused on amassing wealth. And when they looked at you, even the love that they had for you was not enough because they are so materialistic that they didn't look at you as being the one that they were fated to be with. And I'm sensing that this card has Virgo energy. They was looking at you like, uh-uh, this is not the one. This is not the person. You know, they could be either Virgo, Taurus energy that I'm picking up, but I am feeling that they felt that way or even Capricorn energy. But those are uh, the three signs that are coming to me right now. Take what resonate with you. But they were looking at you like you were less than. Forgetting about what you had, they were judging you for what you didn't have. And so therefore, they saw that the grass was greener on the other side. So they moved away to greener pastures. Now in this, I would say, delusion, <laughs> because that's what it was. It was a full right out delusion. It was a distraction. The universe tested you and your divine masculine. Do you know that the universe tests you on what you say that you want just to see if you really want it? And that's what happened to you. And that's what happened to your divine counterpart. Okay. When the test came, they were not able to sustain, sustain the winds of change. And so therefore they ran because they felt like they had security with the person, the karmic situation, whether it was because they left you for a job, education, or a relationship, or all of the above. They ran because they felt like they can grow where they were. And they did. They grew with many karmic lessons and cycles. <laughs> so they experienced growing pains in every sense of the freaking word. They went and they got more than what they bargained. They got lesson after lesson after lesson. And so it forced them to grow, which was a good thing. It's not necessarily a bad thing. And I wouldn't deem it as such. I feel like it helped them to grow into their masculinity because I am sensing that whoever they ran to, they demasculated that man and made him feel infeminate and made him feel like he was the divine feminine. And for some of these divine masculines, they thought they were the divine feminine and that the karmic was the divine masculine. And they looked at you as just the karmic. They didn't care about you. That's the reason why it was so easy for them to throw you away like you were weeds. And they looked at this person like they were the harvest. You see what I'm saying? The energy behind what they thought, they had it all twisted. When you were telling your boo, hey, you're my twin flame. You know, we were meant to be together. We should share the rest of our lives together. Mrs. Karmic was in their ear. I'm the divine feminine. She felt like she was the one that was the divine feminine because she had your man. You're with me. You can't be fated to someone that you're not even with. You're not with that person for a reason. So your divine masculine started believing you're not the divine feminine. You're not the twin flame. That the person that they ran to was the twin flame and they started giving everything that you so rightly deserved to the karmic. But the universe has pushed them into this mode of discernment, spiritual discernment they started to have their third eye awakened. And I I really sense for some of you, your divine masculine already had his third eye awakened. He was just ignoring the hell out of it. He wasn't paying attention to it because it didn't fit his agenda. It didn't have anything to do with what the hell he wanted to do. So he exercised his free will in this situation. Now, with him exercising his free will in this situation, free will is only going to get you so ding dang on far. It's only going to get you so far. Free will is only free will when it does not counteract your soul contracts and your divine contract that you have with source energy. 
When you have a contract, you have to complete it. And this is the reason why some of your divine masculines are still not in union with you is because they have contracts with their karmics that they still need to fulfill because they have not raised their vibration high enough to where they don't have to play out any karmic roles or any karmic ties because they have no karma. When you get 5D and above, you no longer have karma. You no longer have to live out karmic cycles. Life begins to get a little bit easier when you're up there. Trust me, I know. Since I've been in 5D, I don't deal with the normal situations and hardships that I used to deal with when I was in my transitioning stage of 4D and 3D. So now your divine counterpart is in this cycle where he's now awakening or she to who you are. Now there's been a switcheroo. Now they're looking at you as the divine counterpart and they are starting to see the situation that they're in or that they came out of for what it really was in the first place. It was a distraction. It was a huge distraction. So you and your divine counterpart can work on yourself spiritually. And this person, I feel like they're not in a relationship with a karmic partner because they are now working on themselves. They are now putting themselves in introspection and alone so they can really truly figure out what their divine calling is. Because when they thought that what they were doing was the right thing, source energy, the universe, and their angels stepped in and readjusted their thinking. So now they're coming into their senses. And this is the reason why you have the discernment card. Now that they have come to the realization of who you are and what this twin flame journey is all about, this has given them so much peace, so much clarity, so much understanding. And I feel like for some of you, you guys have went into soulmate relationships thinking that this person was your soulmate. And now you're starting to find out that the man or the woman that you were chasing was really your karmic and that the soulmate that is now with you is really your divine counterpart. That is really your twin. A lot of you have been pulling cards. A lot of you have been going to different reader channels and you have been finding out that indeed that the person that you have allowed to enter into your life right now is really your true twin flame and that the other person that you were chasing after was your catalyst twin. I don't like false twin, but if you want, if you're used to that vernacular, I'll say that for the sake of you understanding, understanding and understanding what I'm, I'm trying to convey to you. Your masculine that you were chasing after or your divine feminine, for some of you was really your karmic. And your soulmate that you just thought that was a soulmate because it was so easy. That's really your twin. And the reason why I'm saying this is because the reason why they came in and it was so easy for you is because that person is a vibrational match for your frequency. And when you and your twin are on the same vibrational frequency and match, your chakras are automatically aligned and there's harmony and there's balance and there's peace. There's no gaslighting. There's no running from the connection because you both understand and understand that the connection that you have is spiritual. Just like me and my soulmate, we both know that our connection is spiritual. We are not lovers, but we have the ability to become lovers because we're both attract, uh, attracted as hell to one another. It's just that right now and where we are, we decided to not be lovers because we both have situations that need to be tied up. So you can't start something until you close out another relationship because you don't want to resurrect or reintroduce that energy to your new relationship. And if you really love and care about a person, you wouldn't first and foremost take the other person through it, but you wouldn't take your damn self through that conundrum. That's just, it's like, a uh, mental suicide. Okay. It's like you become your own mental assassin. So I feel that I really do. I feel like for some of you, you've been chasing after a karmic the whole time. And you thought it was your twin because the sex was off the chain. You thought it was your twin because the connection was just undeniable, but it was one-sided. And you knew that the whole time. I'm here to tell you with a twin flame union, it's not one-sided. 
My husband chases me just as much as I chase him. My husband gets on my nerves just as much as I get on his nerves. My husband tells me he loves me just as much as I tell him that, I, well, when we're on the phone or when we're in person, he doesn't text it. But when we're together, my husband tells me sometimes more that he loves me more than I tell him. You see, there is an equal exchange when it comes to the love. The love is mutual. He won't text it. He hasn't texted it, but he'll say it and he won't have any problem saying it. So you really have to go in. You have to go within and you need to figure out an introspection with source energy today, who you're dealing with, because a lot of you have been misinformed about the connection that you have. And that's the reason why source energy wanted me to do this reading. And this is the reason why these cards were laid down. I'm going to be honest with you. I laid these cards down yesterday morning. I was supposed to get this reading out yesterday morning, but I didn't know how to deliver this reading because of the information that I received. And a matter of fact, I've always received, and this is really amazing, what the reading is about before I even look at each card. I did not look at your card and do your reading before God and the angels, I'm not lying, until now. Because I, I can feel it. I felt that it was a heavy reading. And so therefore, I said, okay, source, I'm going to give this information the way that you want me to deliver it at the time that it's time for me to deliver it. I'm just going to lay the cards down. And I'm just going to set the attention that when I go on, whatever comes up, comes out. And that's what's happening. So now you have this last card that's ending your reading. This is the energy. This is not what divine masculine feels. Really hear me out. This is not what the divine masculine feels about the karmic. This is the true bona fide energy and this dynamic for the divine masculine collective and what is really going on on a subatomic or a subconscious level. This is not their conscious mind and what they're thinking. This is the real deal. This is coming from source. This is coming from what I will call cosmic consciousness. This is really the energy. The divine masculine ran to the karmic because she was the caretaker. She was the one that had the resources, the money. She was the one that can get him back on his feet because a lot of the divine masculines left behind everything that they had so they can go to greener pastures. And then there is a group of you where the divine masculine was the caretaker. He ran to the karmic because the karmic played as the damsel in distress. You see, she needed him. You, divine feminine, you were standing in your autonomy and your sovereignty and your true authentic power. And he was threatened by that. He felt like there was nothing that you needed from him. So therefore, this person presented the perfect opportunity for him to feel like a man because he felt infeminate to you. He felt like there was nothing that he could offer you because you had everything. So he ran to the karmic. Because the karmic was, I need you. I love you. I'll cherish you. I'll do whatever you want me to do. I'll be your doormat. When you come home, I don't care if it's three, four, five o'clock in the morning. I'm still going to be here loving you, doting you, being with you. He liked that because see, he didn't have to conform and he didn't have to perform. He didn't have to have any ethics. He didn't have to have any morals. So he went that route because it was easy for him. You see. And so therefore, in this energy, he provided or he joined forces with her and he amassed more what? Wealth and abundance. He thought he had it with you, but then she presents something that looked even more desirable than what you were willing to offer at the time. So he became a part of this dynamic. He took everything that he was supposed to give to you and gave it to her because she presented a scenario that he was in vibrational alignment with. This whole reading is about vibrational alignment. He was in alignment with her. And so now he is starting to look at the situation for what it really is. She's not divine. She's not divine feminine. She's karmic. And so now he's strategizing he's 
thinking of a way to get out of this situation. And this is something he's not telling you. Even though you may be in communication with him, wondering when he's coming home, wondering what you guys are going to do about your marriage, wondering what he's going to do about his marriage. Okay. Cause remember, this is an open reading, but I'm feeling that some of the divine masculines are not being truthful. They're not being truthful about the fact that they know who you are. Okay. And this is excluding those that are now in union with their divine masculine and don't even know it because they think that they're with their soulmate because it's so beautiful. It's so easy because their twin flame is mirroring them. Their twin flame is on their vibrational frequency and loving them and giving them everything that they solely deserve that this possibly couldn't be my DM because he loves me. He cares about me. This is what it's all about, people. So I'm here with this reading to wake you up to the new reality that you possibly could be with a karmic and this could not be your divine masculine. And then for some of you, this is very well your divine masculine. I will suggest that you go within as source. Who are you dealing with? Who is this person to you? I suggest that you do so because there's no sense of investing time and emotions into a situation that is a dead end situation and it's never going to move. Twin flame energy is about movement. It's not about stagnation. If you have come to a point where it is stagnant, that is a telltale sign right there. With me and my baby, we have been going from cycle to cycle because I know he's a karmic twin and I'm a karmic twin, but it doesn't mean he's not my divine masculine. He is bona fide 100% divine masculine. He's just now awakening to who he is and what this dynamic is. And so is your divine masculine for some of you. Okay. Now you have this last cartomancy card. All right. It is the, uh, seven of clubs. And it says that there's a robber mouse or mice. Take your treasure inside the house. They steal with pleasure. Okay. Hope not for gone with this card. It's near. Once the mice are gone, you regain what is dear. So the cosmic energy for the collective is that the karmics are considered mice. Now, this is not my opinion. This is not me downgrading them. This is the card that was pulled when I asked source energy, what is the current energy of the karmic and the divine masculine? She stole something that belonged to the divine feminine. And that was the divine masculine's heart. And for some of the divine masculine, she ain't still a ding, dang on thing. He willingly gave it away. So it was the divine masculine who stole from the divine feminine. Wow. What a reading. So with that being said, I pull from the energy of this card, divine masculines. If you do not step to your divine feminine at this point, what was stolen away from you, you could forfeit it and it will be forever gone in this lifetime. Okay. And I know that for some of you, you may feel like that's not a big deal. Some of you divine masculines may feel, well, I know who she is now. I'll be with her in the life at uh, the next night lifetime. Not necessarily. She has free will. She may not want to do this with you again because she may ascend. And if she ascends, you're in big trouble. Okay. So stop hedging your bets, divine masculine, pull it together, make the right decision. And for some of you, I feel that you will. Okay. I told you guys that there's going to be an influx of unions this week. I have had two people email me already this week that are now back in union after they've done their spiritual working with me. They've done the three combination, which is the violet flame, the karmic flush and the archangel Michael attunement. And they are now physically living with their divine masculine. So I know what I'm talking about. I said it at the beginning of the week that there was going to be an influx of people. And these are just only two people that I know of that are my YouTubers. No telling how many countless others that are coming into union. All right. This is the conclusion of your reading. If you want to come with me on the other side so we can do the healing, we can do that for $11 and 11 cents. I will see you there. It is a good karma to like, share, comment, subscribe, leave a love donation if you feel inclined to. 
You can also purchase a gift through my Amazon wish list, and it will appear on the channel, just like these beautiful cards that I have laid down. I now wrap you on my love, and I cloak you with the light of Christ consciousness. And so it is, everyone. Namaste.